Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we ask our Lord Jesus Christ to teach us how to be patient with our prayer and with our mission. And so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. 
A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. Jonah was greatly displeased and became angry that God did not carry out the evil he threatened against Nineveh. He prayed, I beseech you, Lord, is not this what I said while I was still in my own country? This is why I pled at first to Tarshi. I knew that you are a gracious and merciful God, slow to anger, rich in clemency, lot to punish. And now, Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. But the Lord asked, Have you reason to be angry? Jonah then left the city for a place to the east of it, where he built himself a hut and waited under it in the shade to see what would happen to the city. And when the Lord God provided a good plant that grew up over Jonah's head, giving shade that relieved him of any discomfort, Jonah was very happy over the plant. But the next morning at dawn, God sent a worm that attacked the plant so that it withered. And when the sun arose, God sent a burning east wind, and the sun beat upon Jonah's head till he became faint. Then Jonah asked for death, saying, I would be better off dead than alive. But God said to Jonah, Have you reason to be angry over the plant? I have reason to be angry, Jonah answered. Angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, You are concerned over the plant which caused you no labor and which you did not raise. It came up in one night, and in one night it perished. And should I not be concerned over Nineveh, the great city, in which there are more than 120,000 persons who cannot distinguish their right hand from their left, not to mention the many cattle, The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for to you I call all the day. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in kindness to all who call upon you. Hearken, O Lord, to my prayer and attend to the sound of my pleading. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. All the the nations you have made shall come and worship you, O Lord, and glorify your name, for you are great. And do you do wondrous deeds? You alone are God. Lord, you are merciful and gracious. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was praying in a certain place, and when he had finished, 
one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us how to pray just as John taught his disciples. He said to them, When you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we ourselves forgive everyone in debt to us, and do not subject us to the final test. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today we finish our reading from the book of Jonah. And today we see how Jonah became so impatient about this difficult mission from the Lord. Nakita po natin kung paanong si Propeta Jonas ay panay ang reklamo sa pinagdaanan niyang misyon. Ikaw ba naman ay kainin ng isang balyena no? sa dagat, tatlong araw ka sa loob ng balyena, at isinuka ka ng balyena sa Ninive. Jonah was a reluctant prophet. He did not want to go to that mission. And so he was swallowed by a whale, a difficult situation. And then when he went to Nineveh, he preached to a people who are very difficult to deal with. And later on, Jonah, in his anger, was given a lesson by God through uh, a plant that God gave him, but later on withered. My dear brothers and sisters, sometimes we feel like we are Jonah when there is a difficult mission that we are facing. Di po ba minsan pakiramdam natin mayroon tayong hinaharap na napakahirap na misyon. At minsan, kagaya ni Propeta Jonas, gusto na nating sumuko. Gusto na nating magreklamo sa Diyos at sinasabi natin, bakit ba dito pa ako na-assign? No? Bakit ba ito ang hinaharap ko ngayon? No? Many times in life, like the prophet Jonah, we face a difficult mission, we become impatient, and we want to back out from that difficult mission. But my dear brothers and sisters, like the prophet Jonah in our first reading today, we will see that the most difficult mission in life yields the greatest story and the greatest lesson that God can give you. Kung hindi niya pinagdaanan ng misyon na yan, hindi niya maikukwento sa atin sa pamamagitan ng aklat niya ang napakakulay na pinagdaanan niya. Subalit nagbigay sa kanya ng pinakamalaki at pinakamagandang aral sa buhay. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, today, if you are facing a difficult mission, do not back out. If you are facing a difficult mission, be patient because God will give you the most beautiful lesson you can learn and the most beautiful story that you can tell from that difficult mission that you are facing right now. I remember, my dear brothers and sisters, when I was a seminarian, once I was assigned to the most difficult mission that I faced. I was assigned in 
Bontok Mountain Province. But not in the city. I was assigned to a mission area seven hours from Bontok in Mountain Province. Sabi ko, bakit ba, hindi ba pwedeng ako na lang dun sa pinakamadaling misyon, no? Bakit kailangang ako pa ang ipadala sa pinakamalayo? So, I traveled 12 hours from Manila to Bontok, and then I have to ride the jeepney for seven hours to the small town that uh, for my assignment. Noong una, parang gusto ko nang mag-back out. Noong una, parang gusto ko nang magreklamo. Why am I assigned to this difficult mission? But later on, I realized that in that difficult mission, the greatest story and the greatest lesson was given to me by God. And if I backed out from that difficult mission, I would not have met the colorful people in that place. I would not have learned their songs, their language. I would not have been able to taste their delicious food there. And now I can tell great stories from that difficult mission. My dear brothers and sisters, be patient if you are facing a difficult mission because that mission will yield a great story, a great lesson for your life. In this celebration of the Mass, let us be like the disciples in our Gospel passage today. Asking our Lord Jesus, Lord, teach us today. Teach us how to pray. Teach us also how to be patient with our mission. Teach us how to face a difficult mission because we know that there will be a great story, a great lesson that will come from this difficult mission. Let us be patient and ask the Lord to teach us to face our mission in life so that a great lesson and a great story will come from this mission. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to our Heavenly Father with complete trust as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church throughout the world may always express a deep trust in the coming of the Father's kingdom of love, justice, and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That amidst the difficulties of life, we may go on praying and never give in to temptations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may have sufficient bread to meet our daily needs and the greatness of heart to forgive our enemies. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and those who experience serious difficulties in life may be helped by their neighbors as they carry their cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may see the Lord face to face in His eternal home in paradise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for listening to our petitions. Help us to trust always in your loving ways 
and to accept your will in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands, and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray as our Lord Jesus has taught us how to pray. Our, our Father, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. 
grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We would like to invite everyone tonight for the praying of our Healing Rosary for the World. And our host for tonight will be the Parokya ng San Lorenzo Ruiz in Summerwind das Marinas, Cavite. And they will be praying the Holy Rosary in front of the images of their patron, San Lorenzo Ruiz, and also the image of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary in honor of the Lady of the Rosary this month. And so we invite again everyone tonight at 9 p.m. to tune in at uh, the Manila Cathedral Facebook page so that we could pray the Holy Rosary together, especially for this month of October and as we commemorate tomorrow, the feast day of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. <laughs>
Thanks be to God.